my next Freedom Arm Wrestling event is right around the corner. The 4th of November, Kingston. Jimmy's. Jimmy's Pub. Uh, more to follow. I, uh, I wanted to uh, kind of clarify the whole freedom idea because a lot of people have been kind of going back and forth with it. You know, a little bit of resistance to the whole idea. I want to say a few things. I don't know if everybody's listened to the whole rule set because it's probably kind of boring to work through that whole piece. But I'll just tell you really quickly what the, the core ideas of the whole freedom thing are. Number one, always you know, protect your elbow, right? So whether you wear a sleeve, on a padded surface, whatever, don't be breaking your arm on a hard surface, right? That's why we got a padded table. Mommy, what is going on up there? Uh, all right, so um, second thing is accessibility. Freedom arm wrestling, yeah, we got the freedom arm wrestling table, but the whole idea behind this movement is that you can do it anywhere. And that's why I think a lot of arm wrestlers are getting a little bit, you know, reluctant because they think I want to take the game of arm wrestling away. Guys, I've been arm wrestling forever. I love arm wrestling. Arm wrestling on tables is great. It's never going to go away. These championships are never going I'm not saying that freedom arm wrestling takes over, nothing like that. It's just, one, it is another style. It is another style, and once you try it, once you try it, your, your perception of this whole thing may really change. I remember having the same feelings when I saw it in 99 in Tokyo, in Japan. They've been doing it over there forever, forever, okay? Um, so this is not something new. When I saw it, I was like, what is going on there? This looks crazy. And then I tried it and, you know, mind blown. All right, arm wrestling, bigger playing field, all right? It's cooler, it's cooler. It's like you just went from fighting in an elevator to fighting in an open field. And, but the big thing is it's not, look at all the people who have arm wrestling tables, it's great, it's great. I'm thinking about our expansion I'm thinking about our accessibility, going to a school, guess what? Freedom arm wrestling table on all the desks at school. Uh, going to a bar, bar's got a great bunch of tables. You don't need, you don't need to have uh, arm wrestling tables brought in. You can do it right there, right then, and believe me, there's more ideas coming so that you will be able to run these events that quickly and without the staff that you do right now, okay? I have ideas that I'm gonna to start to share on how we can make uh, arm wrestling events happen like that, okay? Just instant. Um, and the last thing is it lets our sports spread quicker than tables can be made, okay? I don't know how many arm wrestling tables there are in China, India, Pakistan, Africa, but I'm guessing there aren't enough. And I'm guessing that they got lots of tables, desks, where they can be rocking this style today, today, right now. So just think about it as another feeder system, another feeder system. But I want all the arm wrestlers who are already arm wrestling, I think, it's, I think we should be versed in it as well, just so we can help expand the sport quickly when there is no table present. Okay, so I think it's a good idea that we all kind of understand how to do it and understand the rules. So, come on out on the 4th of November to Kingston. Put it in your little planner because uh, more details come and it's going to be a great time. We're going to have a lot of fun that day.